evening, and welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi, a show about us, our people, our community, our culture, our experiences. And guys, it's 2011, the beginning of the year, and you know what that means. It's a very big, exciting time for our West Indian people because Carnival is coming up. Yes, Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago. But before that, there is the famous Chutney Soka Monarch where there will be over a dozen of the Chutney artists performing for this huge competition. At this event, there will be tens of thousands of people who come out to support and see who will be number one Chutney Soka Monarch King or Queen. And Let's Talk With Lakshmi was privileged to be at none other than Club Tobago, which is on Liberty Avenue and Jamaica, Queens, New York, where Karma Band and 2010 Soka Chutney Monarch King Ravi B was at. We actually sent our cameras out and we're going to see what's going on. We have none other than King Raj interviewing you know who, Ravi B himself. Let's take a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is King Raj here representing Let's Talk with Lakshmi, and I'm here with the Chutney King for 2010, Mr. Ravi B at Club Tobago. Right now, we want to learn a little bit more about the Chutney King himself, Ravi B. I was at the Chutney Soka Monarch last uh, February, where he won the title, an amazing performance on stage, very creative, and then also was in Trinidad a few days ago at the awards for the 2010 Chutney, International Chutney uh, Music Awards at Napa, and he won nine awards there, was it, for yes. your band as well, Karma Band, he should be won awards as well as Gregory. So tell us a little bit about that, but also last night, was another 103 awards, I believe, in town, where you won six awards as well. So for you being such a young artist in the community and leading the industry right now, pretty much, <laughs> we want to know how you feel about that. So give us some words about that. Well, first of all, uh, you know, um, good day to all our listeners right now and uh, viewers, actually. And um, it's such a ple pleasure to be in this uh, interview right now. And I must say I'm very happy that uh, 2010 is such a successful year for Karma. And not only winning the Chutney Soka Monarch, but being able to reach the people out and, of course, uh, entertaining them internationally. And now, this weekend, going in, in a matter of four days, Karma won 40, uh, a combination of 14 awards, nine at Napa Awards, and, of course, six at the one or three Hall of Fame Awards. So, I guess we're having a, f a fantastic year, man. <laughs> well, I Feels tell good. you, Feels good. I saw you guys perform after the awards at uh, Club India in Chiguanas, and... That performance by the band, Karma Band, was amazing, incredible. Mm -hmm. I've seen you perform a couple times recently, solo with the CD tracks and so forth, but seeing you with the band, oh my God, incredible. So I definitely understand why they won all those awards. Now, just some other questions for you right now. Everyone knows with the way the Chutney music industry is going, uh, a lot of songs now are not traditional type of Chutney songs. They're more flim song related, film or flim songs, uh, where the same melody, but you're creating English words to it not Hindi, and I don't know there's a lot of controversy about that now. For some people, you know, the more traditional, old school type people, but I heard at your Napa Awards acceptance speech, you, you spoke about that and it really made sense to me when you did. So I just would like you to tell the viewers today on Let's Talk With Lakshmi, we're here at Club Tobago, just let everyone know how you feel about that, what's going on with the Chutney Bollywood style of singing, how you feel about that right now in the industry. Well, first of all, there isn't a such thing as Chutney Bollywood style. And uh, basically, um, music is evolving daily, and of course, uh, people have to understand that music is changing. And um, over the last couple of years, the, la the, 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 the artists from 1998, well, say 1992, come straight up to 2002, you know, they have been doing one set of melodies over and over and over. And I, I don't see what they mean by Bollywood, because um, all the melodies that they used to do from every single song go right back it, it was always melodies from the Ramayana or melodies from um, various movies so I don't see what is the difference it's just that now that the, the music has evolved so much that uh, the Indian melodies which I think is very 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 creative we are actually taking songs and putting it writing over lyrics creating new music for it uh, which I think is very creative and not only that we are getting the older people and the younger people involved at the same time. How was this? Because we are creating the lyrics and the style of music, the rhythms that the young people like. And of course, we, we, we are using a 
bits and pieces of melodies from the older uh, uh, film songs, and so the older people are appreciating it, uh, appreciating it, appreciating it as well, and it, it is reminding the younger generation that how how uh, um, important and meaningful these old cultured songs are to the industry because you know our parents and forefathers when they came from India this is this is the songs they were singing and it's I think it's only logical that you know that we are putting back the melodies into use and I don't see anything wrong with it because you know I think the artists now we are doing it through copyright and of course uh, agree, there's agreements with the people from Bollywood it's not a problem because in the end of the day every time our song sells or, or uh, we perform our song they get percentages of our music and so however I don't see a problem with it because it's done worldwide. India, people from Bollywood are taking songs from America. Uh, a good example is Jab Koi Bhat, um, um, Jab Kisi Ki Tada Fadil, Pretty Woman, you name it. As well as people from America are also taking music from the Caribbean, like Who Let The Dogs Out and you name it. And I even see that um, people from Bollywood are actually doing movies now based on Thriller from Michael Jackson and everything. So it, it, music music is a language, you know, it, 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 it speaks to people in a very touching way and people have to understand that people love music no matter what so the 10 percent of the population who has a problem with these melodies i think it's not really an issue to them you know it's just that the fact that i think they are upset that chutney soka is on the rise and they cannot deal with it but however i will remind you that 90 percent of the public loves it which is the majority and you all are the minority so in the end of the day Chatty Soka will live on. It doesn't matter what melody we use or how we do it. So, bodo. <laughs> <laughs> well, absolutely. Sometimes if you can't beat them, you have to join them. But I know another famous song from Bollywood, Pehli Nizar Me O Jani Ja. That was from a Korean video if you look it up on YouTube as well. So you're from absolutely Asia, right? right. Yes. Absolutely right. They are taking so it back. I, I guess there. music music is just being lent all over the world. And people love it and they appreciate it. They like the vibes of the new music. And the people who I think is not understanding that uh, I don't know I I don't know what is your what is your vibes about music but music has evolved and you need to accept it. It's evolution. If you look at R and B yeah. music, hip hop, reggae, soca music, even from back then and now, it all has evolved as well. And as we on that topic, the rum songs. Yes. Uh, you know, a lot of people a lot of people are saying that uh, everything now from Chutney Soca is rum songs, but no, that's that uh, that is completely wrong to say because. Player is not a rum song. Way Day is not a rum song. And there's a lot of songs that I did in the past, like AIDS, uh, based on my based on what is happening with AIDS right now. I did songs based on my parents. I did a lot of songs, but you probably didn't hear it because it wasn't as popular as what the people want. Is that the rum songs didn't cause the drinking? Is the drinking cause the rum songs? And people need to understand this. Rum was here before us and it will always be here after us regardless so if you want to attack rum you need to attack the companies and you need to attack these indian movies that you're watching with amita bachan and sharu khan and then when they're drinking their bottle of rum all it'll be telling them nothing and all us have all the kids watching that so deal with it and another thing too uh r b some of the top stars from america and europe are singing everything now is rum and even Jamaica, you know, I'm drinking rum and Red Bull. Why will they attack that? Why are they attacking Chutney Soka for? Why? Because it, is it because Chutney Soka is on the rise? I mean, it's, it's tough to think about, but we appreciate that uh, where you're going, because I know a lot of people is looking forward to the Chutney Soka songs, and they don't appreciate that the fact that we're singing rum songs around the kids. But um, it's something we just have to live with, because there are songs for kids that I'm coming out with. Um, feed your kids that. Don't feed them the rum songs. So you are responsible for your kids singing rum songs. Don't blame the artists. Excellent, excellent. I totally agree with you there. Now, I know you're about to go on stage and mash up this <laughs> stage. We're backstage right now at Club Tobago for a major performance with Karma Band. And I want to know, with all the accolades your band is receiving and you have received at such a young age as well, <laughs> have you arrived? Is this it? Is there anything else for Ravi B and Karma? Anything else on the horizon? Or have you arised, rose to the occasion, and that's it? Tell us. Actually, this is just the beginning. I mean, 2010. The beginning. Chatty Soka is just a, it's just a different chapter. You know, music, li life and music is a different chapters. And I would say it's definitely a different chapter where this year we was actually be able to show and forecast that Karma could be you know, one of, if not the top band. And uh, it's just a beginning for us because the, the ideas and things that we have coming for 2011 is incredible. Some of the things would, would is like Madison Square Garden, which was supposed to be no November 20th this month, but uh, 
uh, because of prior arrangements we have postponed it to in august later next year and of course one of my major events next year is a kids concert i'm doing ravi uncle ravi b's chatty soca fantasy carnival saturday in trinidad and of course we'll be doing it up here as well in august as well excellent excellent now you have a saying now i know that's very popular all over facebook when i put it or you guys put it or other people put it where you perform your fans Everybody wants to know what the saying is and what does it mean. You know what word I'm talking about, right? Budo. <laughs> exactly. What is budo? Well, basically, it's a talker. Um, some of my friends uh, heard them saying it. Budo, budo, budo. So what's that budo thing? They say that it's just a new talk. So, I, I, you know, when, when I talk going around among your, your crew, you know, yeah, eventually take it up. So I just take it up, budo, 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 whatever. And then um, eventually I start saying it on stage and then people start to pick it up. And it, it's, it's so incredible that... Um, I'm saying Budo, and now I'm putting it on Facebook, and everybody is being a part of that, and I really appreciate it, man. It shows a love for Ravi B and Karma, and that is how the, the talk actually evolved, so Budo. <laughs> and with that love and status also is a big responsibility, I'm sure. Well, there you heard it live from Ravi B himself representing the Karma band right here at Club Tobago, right before they go on stage and mash up the crowd. Thank you, Mr. Ravi B. Best of luck to you and Karma. It's quite a pleasure, man. Girl, you know I love ya, but I am a player. I display the gold and dental. I display the guitar, keyboard, DJ mixer. I am a player. Girl, you know I love ya, but I am a player. Musical player. Hey yo, well it's Ravi B. Both of us job with that interview with Ravi B. We got a lot of exciting information about him. But now he's just about to interview none other than Ravi's sister. Yes, sister, don't get it mistaken, not girlfriend, not wife, but his sister, Misha B. She's a fantastic artist, very sexy, very sizzling. Let's see what King Raj talks to her about. All right, viewers from Let's Talk with Lakshmi, this is King Raj from the Supertones Band again, and I'm here with Nisha B from Karma. First of all, let me say we're at Club Tobago and let me just wish you a happy birthday. And recently in Trinidad, just a few days ago, you won an award on stage. I was at Napa for the 2010 Chutney Music Awards and you received an award. I want you to tell us about that as well as your band received nine awards there. And then last night, I was also there at the 103 Awards in Trinidad where you received another six awards for the band. But tell us about your awards and accolades this recent year and everything else. So here we have Nisha V from Karma Van. Tones Band. 